Starting out at the Docs home screen, I can see all the documents I've previously created or imported. I can also see who owns which document and which documents are shared. At a glance, I can see the three ways that I may create a document. Use a blank document, use a template, or open a previously existing document. As we saw in the last section, one of the best features in Docs is its ability to save your document automatically. Give it a name to easily locate it inside of Drive. Let's go back to our waffle recipe and take a look at some of the key features you will use when editing a doc. Let's start by looking at the top navigation bar, which consists of a series of drop-down menus and options. Below that is the formatting toolbar, which allows you to quickly format your document. If you'd like to control the margins and indentations, zoom in on the top ruler. The bottom triangle is used for controlling your margins, and the top bar can be used to adjust indentations. Begin by selecting all of your copy, and then grab the bottom triangle and move it over to adjust your margins. To create an indentation location, go back up to the topmost triangle and drag it into position. Looking at the options on the drop-down navigation menu starting with the Format button, we can see that many of the features listed here are also available on the Format toolbar. Let's go ahead and clear the formatting from the margins and indentation and take a look at what we can do with the toolbar. My first step will be to make the title stand out. By highlighting the copy and then coming over to this drop-down, I can select the option to create a heading. Looking over at the left-hand navigation, you can now see that Waffle Recipes appears as a heading. I also have the option to change my font, make it bold, increase the point size, give it an underline, and even change the color. I'd like to make this next one stand out as well. I'll give that a heading two, which now appears on the left-hand side of the navigation. I'm really passionate about tater tot waffles, so I'd like to call attention to the next headline. Coming up to the highlight tool, I'll add a color. I'll make it bold and I'll also add some italics. Let's take a look at the justification tools. Up at the top here, I have the options of how I'd like my text to appear. Let's center it. For my body text, I'd like to adjust the spacing. The tools right here allow the user to select single spacing, double, and many other options. Let's go with double. Other tools located on the toolbar include the ability to create bullets, decrease and increase indentation, and to clear the formatting. Another way to clear formatting is to use Command Z as a keyboard shortcut. Jumping back up to the format drop down button, a couple of special features located here the ability to strike through so that no one gets confused as to what the best type of waffle is, or also popping back up to Format, under Text, Superscript, making other options appear small, Capitalization, to uppercase, and to add headers and footers, including one that would be different for the first page. And here we can add page numbers, selecting a first page, going up to the top. I'm going to update my header here. And over here, a drop down with some additional options. 
Right away, I can see a mistake. Google Docs does an excellent job capturing spelling errors, but there's another way to fix your spelling errors. Head up to the Tools drop-down navigation button, Spelling and Grammar, for a grammar check. A pop-up will appear with suggestions for your word. Select the one you like best. In this case, there was only one. And one more option for repairing your spelling. We'll recreate our mistake and a pop-up appears where we can select a word fix. Also located inside the Tools drop-down button, you may create a word count. Here we see we have 46 of 58, 244 characters. You can even select to display the word count while typing, like ticking. Tools also provides the opportunity to do voice typing, do translation, and a dictionary is located right here.